How are you today? Joyful. Why are we joyful? Because Jesus is in our hearts. Amen. Albert Einstein had a driver called Harry. Many a time, Albert Einstein was called to give his presentations on his own writings and his research. So he was invited to one of the universities nearby and that university never had seen him in person. And this driver has attended all his presentations. Now the driver became so good, well versed in what was taught by Einstein. One day he said to Einstein, Sir, see now I have been following you for many years, being present in all your presentations. Now I am well versed. I could even present what you are going to teach without any notes. That day, Albert Einstein was not feeling well. He felt sick and ill. And he asked the driver to present the concept. The driver, Harry, was so happy. He went and presented wonderfully without missing a singular word from his talk. Then there was a guy who raised question about some concept. The driver was not expecting that. Immediately he turned and said, Okay, this question is very simple. In fact, it's not that difficult. Maybe my driver who is sitting at the back would answer you. <laughs> and of course, Einstein was so happy to answer. When we remain close to great people, we get influenced by their greatness. When we remain close to Jesus, we get influenced of what is truth and what is true love and what is our true discipleship. Jesus came to this earth to fulfill the will of God. God had some important project for Jesus and sent him and Jesus beautifully fulfilled that project. But people did not like him, especially those leaders around. Because he was so strong in announcing the truth that God willed. But these people manipulated and bent down according to their own wants and needs. This story all began with the healing of that particular person who was suffering for 38 years next to the pool, Bethsaida. People found fault with Jesus because he did it on the Sabbath day and cornering him to punish him because he, he was a big challenge and danger for their own position and status. But Jesus is asking us, can we be faithful to our own discipleship, fulfilling God's plan? no matter what accusations and what ridiculing and what complaints come after us. So there are three kinds of Christians in the world. Number one, people who believe in Christ. Christians believe, yes, that is their strong foundation to follow Christ. Sometimes when we look at the people outside, other people who follow different religion also believe in Christ that he was a great teacher, philosopher, healer, miracles worker, and son of God. People do believe in him though they don't follow Christianity. And that doesn't suffice following him so close. Second kind of people, those who belong to Christ, belonging. People belong to particular associations like Legion of Mary, Asodality, or Vincent de Paul uh, Association, or Knights of Columbus. We have so many associations and groups in our churches, and people belong to those associations to serve Christ, which is good, but that doesn't suffice alone. The third group of people, 
people who behave like Christ, who truly behave like Christ. When we are with him, we would definitely behave like him in our words, in our deeds. God wants us to be all those Christus, becoming another Christ in our words, in our deeds. And that's how we become children of God. So therefore, dear brothers and sisters, believing is the foundation. Belonging is the process. But behaving is the completion of being the follower of Christ. And that's when we get the greatness or we get influenced by the miracles or the magnificent personality of our Master Jesus. God bless you all. May the name of God be glorified. Amen.